Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you, meatballs? Today, I'm going to be explaining the gear section inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, breaking it down, explaining everything you need to know about everything from the rucksack to the loadouts, the tactical, lethal, field upgrade, primary, secondary, the gear information, everything you need to know, and more will be broken down in this video. If you do enjoy the video and it helps you out, make sure you drop this video a thumbs up and are subscribed to the channel for more elite Call of Duty Zombies content. I also stream zombies over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jomat123 every single day with the Meatball Army, and I'll be streaming the Dark Ether or actually the Borealis, it's called the Zombies Mastery Camel Grind, over there as well with you guys. Anyways, moving into the video, as you can see, we have Strike Team Operator number one, two, and three. Now, when you get the game, you're probably only going to have like one or two operators selected. If you want to go ahead, say you're like me though, and you do have three operators ready to go, and you want to remove one, all you simply have to do is, as you can see, it says press Y to dismiss the operator. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and it will dismiss the operator. You'll be able to add a new operator into the slot. However, when you do dismiss an operator as you can see it literally says dismissing this operator will reset all on soldier gear are you sure now I don't mind if I do it with the rocket operator or do it with the third one like I just did because there was nothing on it but the second operator I just played a game of modern warfare zombies and I x filled that's when you keep stuff I x filled with a medium rucksack two plate armor vest and a gas mask so now when I go into my next game so long as I'm this operator the thirst operator I will get all of that stuff in the game immediately when I spawn in now like i said the loadout section does carry across from operator to operator so it doesn't matter if i'm this operator right here as you can see i have this one selected with that gear right there you can tell uh or this operator the loadout is still exactly the same so let's just go ahead we're gonna finish up the strike team section then we'll move into the actual gear section but the strike strike team section is just as important as anything because it quite literally affects everything when you spawn into the game that you have right away but anyways strike team operator if you want to go ahead and add a strike team operator like i said you can either remove one that you have active already you will drop everything on the soldier so that includes right here with operator 2 the rucksack plate vest and gas mask i'm not going to drop this operator because i want that stuff but once you drop an operator and or have an open slot you literally just hit the recruit operator button Button, and you can pick any operator that you currently have access to so we'll go ahead and pick this one or whatever we'll pick that one bing bada boom now if i want to go ahead and switch to that operator all i have to do is literally go right over to it select it and boom there'll be a check right next to its head and i'm good to go when i spawn into the match i will be this operator and i will have all of the gear that this operator has which right now is absolutely nothing uh, and when you select a fresh operator for the first time obviously there will be nothing if i drop this operator right here by the way the thirst operator and operator number two i will not and, and i say i reselect him after that i will not have any of this gear right here so make sure that if you drop an operator and there's gear on it that you definitely want to drop that operator it's very very important that you go ahead and clear out the rucksack and or make sure that you don't need or want anything from this stash but let's take a look here i have this first operator selected with no gear and you can see that it has a small rucksack and no gear like i said and the tactical lethal field upgrade loadout all of that will will not matter depending on the operator that's just literally separate they put it together on one screen to make it easier for you uh but i just wanted to show this an example as an example there's a small rucksack no gear information on the left hand side now let's move to the second operator you can see now i have that gear information but the, once again for like the 8,000th time that gas mask that vest and the medium rucksack so when i spawn in i will have all those items as well as like i said i already have a medium rucksack but you can see all the extra items that you can fit in that medium rucksack now the rucksack is empty right now but say i had a battery in it or whatever i had in it it would show right here so you can carry stuff from game to game so if i want to go ahead and add something to this rucksack all i have to do is go ahead and select and then i can go ahead and select as you can see you have acquisitions and you have schematics so i don't have any schematics right now but i'll explain them to you in just a second let's start with acquisitions so acquisitions if i go ahead and select it i have two available one of them is an ether tool and one of them is actually a juggernaut can so you get schema you get acquisitions either from crafting them via schematics or by playing the game and doing missions and or finding stuff in the game and bring them through your rucksack so actually in the last game i had an uncommon ether tool i'll go ahead and equip that real quick and as you can see this this was in my rucksack and all i had to do was select unequip and it went into my acquisitions pretty simple so if i go to my acquisitions now the ether tool won't be there obviously so it's pretty simple you can add or remove stuff from your acquisitions and i believe you have a finite number of spaces so yeah you have one out of ten uh things to stash in your uh in your um 
acquisitions. So there you go. Uh, now, yeah, that's that. So I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll select this ether tool right here. It's an uncommon ether tool. And I'll go ahead and also select in the second tab. I'll go to my acquisitions again and I'll select the Juggernaug perk can. So what this means now is when I spawn into my Modern Warfare Zombies match, I'll have all of that stuff on the left hand side, all that gear. I'll have this medium rucksack with the wrench and I'll have this Juggernaug perk can. I can drink this Juggernaug perk can and use this uncommon ether tool to upgrade the weapon of my rarity. Oh, you can upgrade it to the uncommon rarity. So I believe you start with gray or red at the beginning. I'm not really sure. But if you use this ether wrench, you'll be able to upgrade it to the second level, the green level. So there you go. Pretty simple. It's not too complicated once you actually have it explained to you. And like I said, say I just came out of a match and I want to add this stuff to my acquisitions. All I have to do is hover over it, hit unequip and unequip. And then if I go ahead and select, say now, if I want to go to my strike team operator one now, right? Say I want to use blueprint. I can't carry over over this gear at least i don't believe so i can't well, let me just check something real quick I, I don't think you can carry over this gear you can't um but what i can do is carry over those acquisitions so i'm gonna go ahead and select the, the strike team operator one i do have a small rucksack here but it doesn't matter i can still take those items from my acquisitions and apply them right here as you can see same deal and if i go back to my thirst operator right there there are those things right there bing bada boom good um i'm gonna go ahead and go to my blueprint or go to my operator right here i'm going to remove these i'm not sure why it let me apply them to both i guess once you use them you use them it, j it just depends on which operator you go in with meaning if i go into a match with either operator and i have both the jug can and the thing applied and the other thing applied if i use them in the match then they'll be gone for when the next match maybe i want to go in with operator number two but again let's just keep our focus on operator number two we'll go back to the gear section i showed you how to unadd and uh unequip and equip acquisitions we'll equip these two things for the next match when i want to go in sure i definitely do want those things to go and now we'll say the next thing we have schematics so like i said you can get acquisitions either through uh x filling with them or through actually crafting them via schematics so how some of this stuff works is if i want this see in my inventory in my medium rucksack i literally have an uncommon ether tool if i want to get an uncommon ether tool via the zombies main menu and not actually have to x fill with it and stash it somewhere i can craft it via the schematics by finding Finding the uncommon ether tool schematic inside the match uh, and same thing with the perka colas and the ammo mods and the wonder weapons as long as i have the schematic for well you can't craft that the the i forgot what it's called but the big wonder weapon that's similar to the die from d machina that you can literally fly around the map with you can't craft that one you can only craft the rig on the wonder Woth. but like literally anything you see here is craftable via the schematic so as you can see we'll just take juggernaut crafts a can of juggernaut that grants the following it increases max health so it's literally juggernaut you craft it via the schematics but first you have to go into the match and somehow somewhere some way find that juggernaut schematic once you do and you come back to your menu and you want to add something to your inventory you go to schematics the juggernaut schematic will be unlocked and that goes for obviously anything phd elemental pop any of the wonder weapons any of this stuff if you find a schematic for it in match and by the way i must mention you must successfully exfil with it you will then be able to have that schematic permanently and there'll be a cooldown for how often you can use it so i've heard that for stamina up it's three hours i heard something crazy like the ray guns like up to 40 hours uh the, the the timers are all over the place so you're gonna have to just wait and see depending on which schematic you have what rarity it is how long it takes to recharge and reset uh but for the most part there's gonna be a cooldown so uh, schematics are great because they're permanent and you can craft something like literally like a ray gun with it and a juggernaut can and you can spawn in with it from match to match so long as you live you'll be able to continue to have those items right um but if you do die say and you want to then craft another, another juggernaut can using the schematics you will not be able to do that because there is a cooldown for that specific schematic so hopefully that makes sense you go into the game you find that specific schematic it'll just be around the map somewhere you pick it up you'll then be able to go to your rucksack in your gear section add an item and if it's not in your acquisitions right say say i want to craft death perception obviously i don't have the acquisition for it i i don't have it in my rucksack already so say i found the schematic for it in the in the map and i exfilled successfully then i can go to the death perception perception can it'll be unlocked and i can craft an acquisition for it and then i will be able to just like i added the ether tool in the juggernaut can i'll be able to add that perk to my rucksack so when i spawn in i can drink it right away i can use that ether tool right away to upgrade my weapon rarity and to go across the board here just just to make it clear uh these are the different weapon level rarities uh, with the tools and then you can actually go ahead and pack a punch your weapons using these so as you can see you can pack a punch your weapon to level one and level two using the refined ethereum crystal 
shields and in this you can upgrade your weapon to all the way up to the epic rarity there is one level above these right uh that that isn't available right now at least via these schematics and accusations but it makes sense considering that those are the highest you know upgrades in the game but there you go that i, pr I think i did a good job at explaining how schematics and acquisition works you got the rucksack idea with the small medium and then i'm sure there's going to be a l large rucksack in the in the tier three zone uh the only thing we have to go over now are the field upgrades the lethal and the tactical and and then of course the loadouts but these right here these three are the simplest ones you want to change your field upgrade you hit the select button and you get change your field upgrade uh also i should mention that if you find anything in your match and this is going to go across the whole loadout section if you find anything in your match that you don't already have unlocked and is unlockable via levels then you will get it permanently so for example let's take a look at my at my well again field upgrade if you want to change your field upgrade you just select you hit the select button and then you go ahead and change it to whatever you want or can change it to for me right now i only have access to energy mine that's that but moving back to what i just said right we have the lethals so i have a Molotov selected say in my next match i'm only level four but it says the claymore right i unlock the claymore at level eight if i go into my next match and i find a claymore and successfully exfil with it not only will i be able to have a claymore in my class but i'll be able to permanently have that claymore unlocked forever and that also goes for all the way up here the breacher drone at level 25 right now i'm only level four if i go into a game find a breacher drone and exfil with it i will have the breacher drone for the entirety of my zombies life cycle it will be permanently unlocked for me so the good part about that is if you maybe have a weapon that's a high level or unlocks at a high level right you may not need to wait too long so you may find it from an ai or around the map you may get it from the mystery box if that's the case and you exfil with that weapon successfully that weapon will be unlocked for you for uh, to use immediately uh which is just freaking awesome and it'll be unlocked for you i believe across multiplayer as well you'll be able to use that weapon you won't need to wait for the weapon level and that it's just so freaking awesome to have a feature like that finally uh but anyways lethal tactical like i said you can unlock it either via levels or through x filling with them but uh it's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory whatever you have ready to go you hit press select and you change it to that specific thing so i don't want a frag grenade i want a molotov i'll equip that tactical i only have one available we keep that one now moving into the loadout section this one's still very important uh it may be the last one but i saved the best for last for the most part i know there was a lot of complexity in the other ones this one is pretty simple uh it's just it's pretty easy but it's it, it's not as simple i don't i don't know if that makes much sense but i'll explain it and you'll you'll get it so you have three in short slots up here you gain more in short slots just by doing the different missions to complete certain acts in zombies but you're in short slot right here so we'll just focus on in short slot one the one of the really only one of them matters at a time anyways because you're really only having one to go in your game uh but as you can see i have the option to choose for this prime for this first weapon between an in short slot weapon or a contraband stash weapon so you may be asking these contraband stash weapons what are these weapons how did i get these weapons and it says five out of twenty so you can have a total of 20 weapons in your contraband stash and these are weapons that you picked up in your game of modern warfare zombies and then x filled with weapons that you played with in your game and x filled with so this handgun i thought was awesome i used it until the end of the match or at least when i was ready to x fill i x filled with it and now it is in my contraband stash now this this pistol right here this handgun if i want to just say i want to go ahead and and select it in the in the menus right here like i said i'm only level four so let me go ahead and select the uh select this right i want to change that pistol let's move over here as you can see i don't even own modern warfare 2 but i have this pistol unlocked otherwise it would literally be what is it Extra, well, actually you know what some of them even say extract from zombies so some of them allegedly are only extractable via zombies yeah there you go you can extract from zombies to unlock or you can unlock certain ones at level 25 so i didn't even know that so okay that's why so my bad guys level the modern warfare 2 weapons you can't unlock via levels you have have to extract with those with the modern warfare 3 weapons i was i was right the modern warfare 3 weapons you could extract to gain instant access to but uh you could also unlock them via level the modern warfare 2 weapons available in this game which if you didn't know you can use all modern warfare 2 weapons inside of modern warfare 3 multiplayer and zombies uh but as you can see uh, I have this pistol unlocked. I'm trying to get back to it. Okay, it really doesn't matter. I have that pistol unlocked right there because I exiled it with it in my game. Now, however, I will not be able to customize it to the capacity that it was customized when I previously exfilled. So I exfilled with that pistol. If I want to go ahead and select it now, I can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select.
like that. This is the same exact pistol with the same attachments that I X-filled with in my previous game. I could still select it via my insured slot right here. As you can see, if I go to my handguns, I just showed you the pistol is there to select and I can put some attachments on it based on whatever weapon level I'm at, right? But I can't, I can't um, put those same attachments on it. And the point of this is, is if I use that weapon, if I say I do run it as an insured weapon and I rank up that weapon, I can then add whatever attachments I want on it. Sure. Um, but if I want to run with the same attachments, say I want to go do a mission or something and I really like that pistol and the attachments on it, I can apply the pistol to my class and have it ready to go from the contraband stash. I don't know what just happened to the, oh, it's applied already. I just got so confused. So there you go. The 50, uh, the, the 50 GS, that pistol was ready to go just for my previous game. So again, to be clear, I was getting a text message at the same time. So that's why I may have got a little bit repetitive, but the contraband stash are just weapons that you X filled with and have instant access to because you use those in your previous match. Now the insured slot are weapons that you either have unlocked uh, or X, X filled with and then unlocked and you can apply those to your loadout and have no matter what so the contraband weapons as you can see on the left hand side you lose those the weapon permanently lost if left behind so i won't if i go into a match with this handgun right now and i die i will not keep this weapon that weapon is gone unless i find it again in the match and then successfully exit with it however the insured weapons they're basically you're just, you're just create your uh, creative class weapons so say i rank up this striker smg and i put a ton of attachments on it i load into a game of, of my Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, I have it selected, right, as my as my insured slot, and I select it right here. I go into a game of Modern Warfare Zombies. Uh, this weapon will stay with me no matter what. If I die, if I exfil, it doesn't matter. This weapon, I'll always have. As opposed to, like I said, this handgun, any of the contraband stash weapons, those will go away if you die pretty simple. I took a long time to explain it because I really wanted to be as thorough as possible, but there you go. There's that. If you want to then select a second weapon, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, you can go ahead and once again select from a contraband weapon, which like I said, if you die, you will lose. Or you can select from an insured weapon that you can keep and customize no matter what via the gunsmith. Again, you can't you can't customize the contraband weapons because they're meant to be in the exact form that you exfil with them as. Uh, but let's just say I have, okay, so I have a contraband weapon. Let's say I won't one insured weapon and there you go there's my weapon loadout right there excuse me weapon loadout right there i have my contraband handgun and i have my insured slot so again just to summarize what this means is let me throw this in i have a, i have an operator two selected i have my strike team operator two selected on this operator i do have some gear because i previously played a match of modern warfare three zombies and i x filled successfully so any gear that i had from that previous match i now have into my next match so that includes the medium rucksack, rucksack the two plate armor vest the gas mask right i can pick any weapons from that or another previous match that i successfully x filled with up to the 20 in my stash or i can use an insured slot weapon uh to, to be good to go to load into my game with in the next game if i die using this exact loadout i will lose this contraband weapon but i will retain of course my smg since it's a weapon i have unlocked and i made in the gunsmith and it's in my insured slot you cannot put a contraband weapon in your insured slot uh one last thing if i want to add items to my rucksack or remove items to my rucksack i absolutely can as you can see i add an ether tool and a juggernaut can to my rucksack so when i spawn into the game i also have these items ready readily available to go ahead and upgrade my weapon level to the uncommon rarity and also drink a can of juggernaut like i said if i want to unequip these i can simply just hit the unequip button and that is it that is the modern warfare zombies weapon loadout gear strike team system explained to its absolute fullest capacity if you enjoyed this video and it did help you out maybe a little repetitive just a little bit but it was fully thoroughly explained make sure you drop this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more elite call of duty zombies videos and i will see you in the next video peace